Welcome again. Let's look at the jejunum versus the ileum. In this lecture, we'll be unfolding the differences between the jejunum and also the ileum. <laughs> So let's look at the differences between the jejunum and the ileum. Even though there is no line of demarcation between these two organs, however, there are some differences created between these two organs for medical practitioners. So for anatomists and also surgeons, there are distinct characteristics that are presented by the jejunum and the ileum, and this can be used to differentiate these two organs. So let's drive in to see the differences seen or presented by the jejunum and also the ileum. So the first difference is that the jejunum is thicker in wall and also more muscular. If you look at the wall of the jejunum, you see that it, it is thicker and also muscular. This is the wall of the jejunum and this is the wall of the ileum. This is thicker than what is presented in this image and also more muscular. Then the second difference is that the lumen of the jejunum is wider than the lumen of the ileum. This is the central lumen of the jejunum. You can see that it appears to be wider. If you check the diameter of this lumen, you see that it is is more than what is presented in the ileum. And the ileum, of course, has a smaller lumen when compared with the jejunum. The lumen of the jejunum is about 4 cm, while the lumen of the ileum is about 3.5 cm. The jejunum also has longer and closely packed circular folds, which are the splica circularis. These circular folds in the jejunum, these are the circular folds in the jejunum, and these folds, you see that they appear to be longer, and they are also more closely packed. If you look at the ileum, they are shorter and they are loosely packed. And this is the circular folds that is presented within the internal wall of the jejunum. And you can see that there is the creation of more infoldings within the mucosa wall of the jejunum. And the ileum, you see that they are less pronounced here. The infoldings that is created by the ileum is not as much as what is seen in the jejunum. And this is because the circular folds are closely packed here, while here they are loosely packed. Also going further, another difference between them is that they have about two rows of arterial arcades. Remember when we talked about the blood supply of the jejunum and the ileum and the pattern by which these anastomoses are presented, we said that the jejunal and the ilia artery present arterial arcades. This arterial arcade in the jejunum is about two rows, and this is what is seen here. For the ileum, is about four rows. So if you count this, you see that it's about four rows. And what this leads to is that in the jejunum, the final terminal or spread vessels that will now emerge after the formation of the arterial arcade will tend to be longer. And that is what is seen in the jejunum. In the ileum, because of the creation of more arterial arcades, the, the final terminal branch that is called vasa recta will then be shorter. So if you look at the mesentery and look at the pattern of anastomosis that is created by the jejunal and the ileal artery, you will also be able to differentiate if this is the region of the jejunum or this is the region of the ileum. Considering the number of rows of arterial arcades created and also the length of the vasa recta. Then the ileum, if you look at the mesentery of the ileum, it has more deposition of fat. This is the ileum here and these fats are represented in dots, while in the jejunum we have less deposition of fat. And what this causes is that the peritoneal window will be seen to be opaque. It will be seen to be opaque because of the blockage that is created by the fat deposit. The peritoneal window are spaces that are created by the final terminal branches from the arterial arcade, which are the vasa recta. So the spaces between this region are called the peritoneal windows. And these windows will appear to be opaque. And this means that looking at structures in the posterior abdominal wall will not be easily visible because of the op opaque nature that is created by the fat deposit in the mesentery. And if you look at the jejunum, you see that they appear to be translucent. And translucent means that you can see the posterior abdominal wall through the peritoneal window. We already said that the peritoneal window are spaces that are created between the vasa recta. Also, the jejunum has more numerous, longer, thicker, and also live like villi. These are the villi, which are the infoldings that are created within the mucosa lining of the jejunum. And if you look at it, they are finger like. If you look at it, they are thicker, they are longer, and they are also more numerous. These are the villi here in the jejunum. In the ileum, 
they are less in number, they are shorter, thinner, and also they are finger-like. This can be used to justify the absorption of the jejunum and also the ileum. Remember in the jejunum, we said that majority of nutrients are absorbed within the jejunum. And the creation of this infoldings is to increase the surface area for absorption. And you can see that in the jejunum, they are more in number, they are thicker, they are also more pronounced and longer. But if you look at the ileum, because we said that specific nutrients are absorbed within this region, so the infoldings are not as pronounced as what is seen in the jejunum. And that is why they are less in number, they are shorter and they are also thinner. So you can compare these differences and also use it to justify the functions that they exhibit. Also going further, in the ileum, we have Peyer's patches. Peyer's patches are collection or aggregation of lymph follicles. These lymph follicles are of immune function. And within the ileum, this is the ileum highlighted in red. Here you see that we have aggregate or collection of lymphoid follicles. And this is what is highlighted in black. They are collected together. Why in the jejunum, they are seen as solitary lymph follicles. And that is why you see that they are scattered within the mucous membrane of the jejunum. So you see the lymph follicles scattered here. Why in the ileum, they are seen to be collected together. And these are called the payers patches. So thanks for watching this video. Let's meet again.